There's a beautiful day headed your way. Keep your head up. Hi everyone, <laughs> this is Blanca. It's been a long time since I've done a video, uh, but last weekend we went to an orchid show. Uh, West Florida West Coast Orchid Society put on their first orchid show for the year, and I went on Saturday and on Sunday. It was very nice, and out there I ran into, well not ran into, I planned to meet Todd out there, and Natalia was out there. Um, and other friends and and there were other youtubers out there and uh, some people that watch my videos were there and asking me oh it's been a long time why haven't you put on a video and you know what I'll tell you why actually <laughs> because we've had some cold weather here and uh, about oh I say about a month ago we had some really cold weather and we had to wrap the pergola up in plastic and uh, everything is kind of packed in there really tight. So I really can't get in there and do videos, but I've had blooms in there. Even though I've had that dark blue tarp up there, uh, I have a lot of buds right now, and I'm surprised that uh, orchids didn't manage to bloom in there. I thought it would be gloomy, but uh, that's why I haven't really done, you can see tape. It was real windy a few days ago, <laughs> and we had to go out here and retape the pergola the plastic down because it was blowing <laughs> all around but uh, anyways let me show you what I have in bloom now okay I'll start with this one here she's been in bloom for like two weeks now possibly even going into three weeks and I don't have an ID I think I have to go search an old photo and honestly I was about ready to throw this orchid away because if you look at her look she's sunburned and uh, her leaves just look bad she just didn't look healthy at all but she surprised me and I saw um, a sheaf coming out and it got nice and plump and she managed to put out these two beautiful blooms beautiful colors on it okay and the next one I have in bloom is just this little um, this little phalaenopsis and she's kind of shy, so I'm going to bring her up here so you can see her blooms. And there she is. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to focus. Let me put her down so I can get her tag. She, um, I got her in Tamiami last year. And um, she also has a spike that, see that little green spike there? <laughs> that's been there for over a year <laughs> or a year anyways <laughs> and uh, it hasn't done anything she's just a slow poke and there's her tag okay let's see what else I have in bloom oh yes also also blooming here is this little dendrobium I don't have an ID it constantly blooms but uh, I really like her because she's got that little bit of white edging all along the petals do you see if I can focus uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to focus and uh, also in bloom I have um, oh and she also she saw always in bloom and I just noticed she survived the cold she stayed out here all year and I noticed right about in the middle she's got a whole new um, spike coming out there so I'm pretty happy she's doing really good she takes a lot of abuse <laughs> and then also I have in I also have in bloom over here ta-da <laughs> I know her blooms are gone already but she blooms quite a bit she bloomed earlier in the fall beautiful blooms and then she put these two out a couple of months ago and now she's blooming again really pretty and um, let me see if I can show you look how pretty the the lip on this one is it's variegated red and yellow 
and also oh her tag you know I really like this orchid because she does bloom constantly and this is her tag right there yeah she is a frequent flyer a frequent bloomer oh I hope I don't lose the tag I just end up throwing it in there because I can't get it back in the pot so I hope I don't lose it and also I have in bloom over here little twinkle here she's got two bloom spikes and you know this little twinkle I thought she died and she, I only had one pseudobulb one tiny little pseudobulb and I mounted her on that cork because she came in a pot with um, sphagnum moss and lo and behold she survived and bloomed and look at all the pseudobulbs now and I think I see a new back in there I see a new growth yeah I think it is a new growth <laughs> this is weed <laughs> and let's see if I have a label for her and there's her tag I think I have part of the tag is missing and one of my favorite ones is this one because she bloomed in July and now she's blooming again isn't she a beauty Oh, and she smells so good. I love the colors. I love everything about this orchid. And she's got a nice size in the shape. I love this shape. Kind of like a star shape to me. She's got two, two blooms. And that lip has a beautiful magenta color on her. And let me get her tag out. she came out easily so I hope I can put it back in and this one upside down and this one is a Catlia Gascariliana Cerulea Drago by Alex let me put that back in there before I lose it came out easy but it's not going back in as easily Here is a peek into my crowded pergola. <laughs> Look at this. All the orchids that were behind the pergola are in here. Some of the ones from the screen porch. It's so difficult to get in here and water. And you know, I am surprised with that dark blue tarp up there. I've got buds here and there in different places. Um, right about in the middle of the screen you can see some buds there. And this one on the other side has got buds too. And there's dendrobiums in here, somewhere down in there with tiny buds. And honestly, I don't know who else has got buds because it's really difficult to get in here. So what I have to do is take my, um, my sprayer and start aiming up and just let it spray down. Got in it. You know what? Even though it's cool, cool outside, it's hot in here. That's in bloom. I have two of those. I got them from um, Brookside Orchids. This one came in um, in spike, and then the other one came without a spike. And now I see there's a little spike on it right there. They were pretty reasonable, so I got two of them. Okay, I'm over here on the north side next to my mango tree. And way back there, inside that wooden basket on the shelf, I have a cymbidium that has never bloomed. And I was thrilled because, do you see the buds about the middle of the screen? Do you see them there? I was so happy, and I've been watching them very carefully. And... Uh, this morning yesterday they were fine then yesterday or this morning I came outside and oh my god I was so angry um, on the ground do you see about in the middle of the screen there I think a squirrel came and bit it off I was so mad oh my god it's the first time blooming 
Yeah, we've been having some really cold weather here, so um, everything stayed out here because fortunately, I think the coldest we got was like to 41 or 40 degrees, where no south of me got colder. They even got frost where Natalia lives, which is south of me, and on the other coast also got frost where my friends live. And where my friends live on the other coast, south of me, the iguanas are committing suicide. They're climbing the trees up high and they're just dropping themselves, falling off. They're falling off the electric poles and lines off a two-story house. And But you know what? <laughs> they, they're not committing suicide. <laughs> it's so cold, they're falling. But you know what? They're like cats. They have nine lives. It doesn't faze them. They'll fall and sleep a little, and then they get up and walk away. Oh, geez, I wish the squirrels would do that. <laughs> and I have a vanda there in bloom. This dendrobium here. It's all green with a little bit of pink in the lip. And believe it or not, it smells really good. It's one of the few, few dendrobiums that smells really good. All right, let me get on with what I purchased. Oh yeah, before I, I show you my haul, let me share with you this beautiful little Vanda. Even though her blooms are already going, she smells so good. This is a gift from Todd. I don't know if I'm going to be able to focus on it. But she's already lost a few blooms. But she still smells good. She needs a little tender, loving care because I can see her roots look a little dry. I don't know what happened, Todd. I think maybe it was your propane tank. <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, we're going to give her a lot of water and a lot of love. <laughs> I am anyways. <laughs> so she should do good, I hope. And the other one I got from Todd, he gave me two Vandas. Isn't this beautiful? Look at that. And I also I believe she's been in bloom for a little while. This one has two spikes. And same thing, I don't have an ID top. But she's beautiful. Small blooms. Yeah, I'm having trouble focusing today. It could be, it's cold out here. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to warm up tomorrow real nice, though. So. Oh, yeah, at the uh, orchid show, I ran into Vincent, and he's from Lakeland, and he said, Blanca, I have an orchid for you. I've been carrying it around for a long time. I, I never run into you at any of the orchid shows. I haven't seen you in such a long time. And uh, I, I said, that's true. I kind of been home most of the time with this quarantine thing. But then he uh, went down and reached into his pant pocket. And I got a little scared. <laughs> no, not what you're thinking. No. I'm just thinking what he was going to pull out of there was going to be a crispy dried orchid. <laughs> but no, look. He gave me this little nobly dendrobium bare root I went ahead and pot her up and she's got a little do you see that it looks like she has a little bud there I think she's gonna be blooming yeah he pointed that out to me and not only that she has a uh, new growth down here tiny little growth so Vincent thank you very much Well, I decide to continue the video the next day on Friday because it's so much nicer. It's actually pretty warm out here today and uh, nice and breezy. So anyways, the first orchid that I picked up, I have her out here in the pergola getting a little bit of sun, but I'm going to have to move her. I think she's getting too much sun. Too much sun. And if you hear a humming sound, no, it's not hummingbirds. <laughs> it's my twin fans. Look at this duo action. <laughs> it's so hot in the pergola. I've got these fans and uh, they run on battery. And they can last like maybe two days. But 
look at this it's giving a nice breeze in there I like these fans because I can angle them and it's a nice breeze too so all right my first purchase okay I brought her out of the pergola that's better now the first um, orchid I picked up on Friday was this one here on Saturday BCL Golden I can't see <laughs> I am not focusing let's see if I set it down there BC Golden Emperor Valley and I picked this up from Miranda Orchids and it's a seedling, but it, it's a nice size seedling. It's not too small. And uh, Francisco helped me pick it out. And he said this is a nice one. It's got a nice growth on it. The newest growth was this one here. Very nice. And he also pointed out that it may bloom next year. And it's got a little eye right in there about the middle of the screen is pushing out a new growth and so I'll insert a picture because I really really love this orchid it's white with a pink or red lip and I just fell in love with the picture he had there but then as I walked around the orchid show the second orchid I purchased it looks very similar to this one but I guess I couldn't wait for this one to bloom ta-da pretty similar isn't it <laughs> I, I don't think I can wait for that uh, seedling to bloom this one's a little more pink the other ones I think more red but I love white and pink together on on catlias they're so pretty this one I think she's been in bloom for a little while so she looks like she's been around the block but you know what next year maybe yeah maybe even this year she'll rebloom again hopefully and I got it from Art Stone and I got home and I looked all around for a tag and there was no tag. So I don't know her ID. But that's alright. She's beautiful anyways. And on to the next one. Okay, so the last one I picked up on Saturday is this one. And this one is my favorite one. I got this one from All Around Orchids. And the funny thing is I, I keep going back to look at her. And she's just so pretty I thought she was so pretty but and I showed her to uh, my friend Bella and I showed her to my friend Vincent that walked around with me and I showed her to Natalia and everyone that looked at it they said the same thing uh -huh. I don't know what uh -huh means but <laughs> so anyways I walked away and then I said no you know what if she's still there I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna look and I'm gonna just get her because I keep thinking about her so I did and I really like her and what I like about her is not so much the colors you know but um, what I like about her is clusters she blooms in cl in those clusters let's see if I can focus on her there and she still has some buds there about in the middle of the screen that haven't opened so I'm really happy with this one and her name is, she does have a tag, and I'll set it down, see if I can focus, SLC Jammy Hollinsworth Sunbulb, very nice, I love this one, and then I went back on Saturday, on Saturday Sunday, that was Saturday I picked it up, and I went back on Sunday, and I got one last orchid and it's this one here oh how cute look at that little lip I think I'm gonna move her to where there's more light isn't she pretty this dendrobium she doesn't put too many blooms out but they last for weeks and weeks that one's almost gone it's a pretty color and I see I have a tag for her.
it's um, Dendrobium Newporn Star Bright. Well, let me just. <laughs> This dumb. Why am I trying to <laughs> read around it? Let me see if I can just pull the tag out. <laughs> okay, there. Dendrobium Newport Starbright Siam. <laughs> okay, let me get back to my little orchid. Oops, I don't want to make anyone dizzy here. I have her sitting out here where she gets more light. And this one here, I just absolutely love. The blooms are not too big. They're on the small side, but the color is amazing. It's sort of like pinkish and then like a red in the center. And I don't know if you can see in the center, it's kind of bumpy there. Really cute. And she has got um, a few more buds. Do you see under the leaf there? Another one there, another one there. So she's got a few more to go. I got this one from um, Accent Orchids. And they're here in St. Petersburg. And let's see, here is her name. Dendrobium Don Clementum something like that but I really like her I haven't detected a fragrance so if she has a fragrance I don't know oh and besides this I did get some orchid supplies and I'll share those with you yes supplies I did pick up some supplies some orchiata bark and charcoal and perlite and I think some other things but I also got these beautiful beautiful mounts Look at these. These are from Natalia. Just one more orchid dot biz. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I, I, I'm not sure what she calls these, but I think she calls them Shola or something like that. But you know what? I call them honeycombs. <laughs> That's what they look like to me. They're beautiful mounts. Oh, the roots should grow, grow right through those really nicely and cling on. So I got that one. And I also got a smaller one. This one's got an angle cut. Kind of like a stylish there. <laughs> She grooms dogs and she trims their hair, their furs, or so I think she kind of made this one a little stylish. <laughs> what a comparison. <laughs> Just kidding, Natalia. And this lovely, lovely little pot. I just absolutely love the colors. It's cute. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in it, but it to me it seems like I'm going to have to go buy more orchids. <laughs> And then also this one here, a terracotta one, was a gift to her when I purchased from her uh, in the mail and she sent me this. It's beautiful. It's got like a bamboo pattern going up. Very pretty. Oh, the roots are really, yes, I have to go buy some bare root orchid now. Very nice. And then I also from um, Garden... I think it's all garden trails, yes. I got two of these mounds. They're flat, flat mounds, see? But what I like about these, they're made with um, hardwood. Like, I think it was a hardwood floor at one time. And he says they last for a long time, so. Yeah, so that'll be nice to mount something on. And we were there Sunday at the show. We were there Sunday, um, early Sunday and Saturday. We were there to go shopping. And then early Sunday we went because I met Todd out there. And then we returned late Sunday at closing because we helped um, pack up and take displays down and just carry supplies into people's vehicles and help out. And um, 
garden trails gave me this cute little pot. Isn't that adorable? From Sonia. Yes, I have to go get more orchids now. Well, that's the end of the video and hopefully um, I will have some more videos to um, show you because I do have some put together but I just haven't done anything with them. But uh, I, there's one more thing I want to say. Yay, yay, yay. Hubby got a job. A J-O-B. Yes, he did. He's the project manager. And I don't mean like in the projects, the neighborhood, but yeah, yeah, it is, it is, because <laughs> it's this neighborhood. Look, I found this bench on Market, Marketplace, and it needs to be rebuilt, and he's got twos, so he's got a lot of projects ahead of him. Isn't that cute? Anyways, I got this bench, and I said, honey, could you come and help me pick up a, um, a bench that I bought, and I for outside and he goes well can't you bring it home I said no I can't bring it home because I think I need two people to pick it up we got there it took it took me and him because the lady that I got it from was um, at home with her little kids and her husband wasn't home and it just took me and him to carry this heavy iron bench like uh, maybe a distance of um, oh about 50 feet at the most maybe even th between 30 and 50 feet and lift it up into the back of the SUV it took us like 20 minutes it's so darn heavy and he goes don't don't do this again don't put me in that spot that's ridiculous you're buying stuff that we can't even carry home you know but we did it we carried it home and when we got home we just I just thought all the way home, oh God, help me, how are we going to get this out of the car, out of the SUV, it's so heavy, how are we going to unload this, you know, I know I'm going to drop it, you know, and so then anyways, when we got home, my brother happened to be outside, and he goes, oh, I was just going to drop off this uh, scan for you, this disc for you, and I said, oh God, answer my prayers, look, he's here, and he helped us get it out of the vehicle. So the project manager has a project here, rebuilt the bench, and there's more projects coming along for orchids. All right, bye everyone. And I should have said this at the beginning of the video. I hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves. And if you can get the shot, get it. Uh, we don't have it yet, but I'm hoping that I will apply for it soon. You know, I, uh, I'm a little scared of needles, but <laughs> I think I'd rather get a needle than a virus. Anyway, stay safe, everyone, and hope to see you soon. Bye.